We're learning more information about a student diver that died at a commercial diving academy on Thursday. According to the incident report from the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, the student diver told instructors through his radio his dive helmet was filling up with water. News for Jack's reporter Bree Isom joins us live. Bree, you spoke to an underwater welder about what people do during this job. Yes, and I also asked him how long people train for. He says this job is dangerous. According to the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, a man in his 40s who was a student at commercial diving school drowned Thursday in the Trout River while doing low visibility underwater welding training. I asked an underwater welder more about the trade. So how many years did it take you to train to be a commercial diver? Uh, the, pro the school... The actual program in the school was nine months um, and pretty much every month was like a different course that you learn. He says this job can be difficult. It can definitely get challenging, especially um, if you're prone to being like claustrophobic or in like situations that you can't immediately take yourself out of. Pierce says underwater welding is used on a lot of structures. What kind of structures did you work, do you work on usually? Um, I have done everything from hydroelectric dams, uh, you know, inspecting like the gates and replacing the gates even that allow the water to go into hydroelectric dams to spin the big turbines. Um, I've worked at the amusement parks in Orlando, Universal Studios and some at Disney. According to the incident report, the student diver told instructors through his radio his dive helmet was filling with water. The man was told to try to vent the water through his mask, but then stopped communicating and was found unresponsive. CPR efforts were unsuccessful. Pierce says welding underwater can be dangerous. Like, you know, turning a wrench, uh, installing a new valve or something like that, which on the surface, it's just, you know, you work in a couple wrenches and you're done. But it gets a little bit more complicated when you have an air hose that can get caught on the way. It's underwater. You're dealing with a lot of pressure. And now JSO says that this man was at an advanced course. He was training in an advanced course at the time that this happened. And now the Institute tells News for Jax they have no comment on this incident right now. I'm reporting live near the Trout River. Bree Isom, Channel 4, the local station.